Happy Holidays! <laughs> Sorry, Happy Holidays! <laughs> um, so, this is Bobby from Be Still Intuitive. I'm from Terribly Accurate. Here's what we're doing. We were thinking, what do you want for Christmas? What are you going to ask Santa for? Is it personal? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I... I want to spend time with my family and my friends. That's what I want. Nailed it. Uh, well, I'm going to, I'm I'll get it, so. <laughs> get it, get it. Um, but anyway, so in the spirit of Christmas, got this cute little bows on, ho, 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 for my favorite ho. Anyway, um, <laughs> we were thinking, what would you like for Christmas? Or what should you want for Christmas? Because oftentimes... We want things that are bad for us, right? So what is it that you should want for Christmas? So we're going to use um, tarot cards here to determine what each sign should want for Christmas so that you know how to manifest the right-ish for yourself. Especially if you're avoiding maybe what you should be focusing on or what you need in your life that's going to be healthy or work for you or point you in the right direction. You might have a lot of distractions. You might be... Focus on the wrong thing. You might be doing things that aren't good for you. You might be with somebody who's not good for you. That Drinking we... too much eggnog? Is there alcohol in that? There can be if you put it there. Oh. Yeah. You don't... Okay. Gluten? I mean, not gluten. Uh, dairy? Dairy. I think I'm lactose. Lactose. That's what it is. Lactose. Lactose. Okay. Anyway, to the point. Sorry. So, uh, well, I'm, I would prefer Jamie to kind of guide this because she's, um, she's really feeling the holiday spirit with those bows. Okay. <laughs> ho, so ho, we're ho. Ho, 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 ho. Um, so, we're going to start with Taurus. What should Taurus want for Christmas? They should want... This is interesting. It came out as a challenge. Why would they want... Okay. They should want to tackle the challenge of leaving some bull crap behind. That's the way I'm taking this one. They should want to move forward with the things that are good, remember the things that sucked, look back on them and go, oh, that's a lesson, and move forward. And what I, so the card that I pulled, so I call this the craftsman card, but what I get along with what Jamie said is doing the work, like really doing it. But, for, but since this is swords, it's mental work. Doing the mental work. And we're talking about law of attraction, right? So it's about reframing our thoughts. So the way that I'm taking this as far as what should Taurus want for Christmas, what should they want to focus on, it's um, like looking at their past and saying, okay, but I learned something from that. And I'm not going to make the same mistakes again. I'm going to, you know, with all the red here, I'm going to passionately take some steps forward towards something better but I'm also going to express gratitude for the things that effin' blew. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Can I do the next one? Yeah. Um, so, to, to, how come you started with Taurus? Because oh. I wrote them all down so we wouldn't miss anybody. Okay, so this is perfect. So, what should I be focusing on? Because it's Capricorn. So, all of you Capricorns out there, let's focus on work. Okay. So work, 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 work. This totally resonates with me and especially for those of you who know me um and it's actually my goal right now so what i feel with this is definitely for me that i'm on my path this is my focus um to continue working work hard or moving in the direction of that so however that looks um for some of you you may be like okay well i'm already working and i work hard um because you're a capricorn and you guys you work 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 give it to me dur, 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 dur. okay um Keep your focus on that, um, but what I'm getting is that for those of you who this is your focus, maybe paying attention to where this maybe is, there's maybe not balance within your life, like maybe you're working too much, which is very, um, it can happen with Capricorns, it's very, it kind of like goes hand in hand, so maybe pulling back, but I am getting work is the main focus here, you should focus on that. And what, what fell out of the deck as I was shuffling is the devil card. So what it's saying is work on the things that you absolutely must, right? If you have to choose, what is most important? Like what are the things that you absolutely must do that you're totally super tied to? 
The rest, delegate. Um, but I feel like we need one more card here. And it's saying, um, because throwing yourself into your work is healing. So stop. Hey. Look at that magic. What? Throwing yourself into your work is healing. Yeah, because it stops you from thinking with swords again, from overthinking about things that hurt you. And we, we, did, we did pull the same card, so that's interesting. And, oh, by the way, when she pulled the devil card in the tarot deck, this is Capricorn, so this message is for you. So, cool. <laughs> Virgos, what should you want for Christmas? What should you work on manifesting? Actually, um, damn it. What you should be manifesting, um, you should be actually just talking to God at all, right? To spirit guides, angels, all of that stuff. Following your own intuition, asking for guidance, and then paying attention to the guidance so that you can follow the guidance, okay? Um, furthermore, some of you um, should be focusing on getting pregnant if you want a baby because now you're going to be super fertile. Okay, so fertile. Um, I got also... and. Virgo, so you are an earth sign, so we have all your pentacles here. Basically focusing on your well-being, um, making sure that you're balanced, um, bills are paid. It's very Virgo-like as well. I'm like getting all these things. Um, basically all the tangible things that surround you or within your life, just make sure that that's your focus. I already get that that is, um, but it's making sure that all your ducks in a row, especially with December, there's a Mercury retrograde coming up, so things might kind of be chaotic with the holidays, but just stay grounded. It'll workout. And I'm really getting like for those of you who are Virgos and you're watching this and you're going through infertility, this is exactly why that popped up. Like take care of yourself. Treat yourself. Make sure that your body is good, that your house is stable, that like your job is stable, all of that stuff so that you are, um, so you've created an environment that a baby can come into. Yeah. Or babies. Babies. Or a baby daddy. Do you want to, ooh. <laughs> Love, attraction. Uh, so you're, we're on Leo now. Okay, so Leos, what should we be focusing on for you guys for, what are we doing? For, for um, what should you want for Christmas? What should you try to manifest? So with with this card here, um, the Six of Pentacles, it can mean a lot of things, but what I'm getting is, and Leos, you guys are very much like this. Maybe taking the focus or attention, I'm, I'm getting that there's maybe a lot going on internally that may be focusing your, ten your attention on giving to others or being of service to others, that that'll actually create more balance in your life. So maybe you're really trying to make something happen or almost force it that if you focus on other people, helping other people out, maybe calling up a friend who needs to talk and you listen, this will be very healing for you. And going along with that, paying attention to details. Really active listening. Um, even if you're only slightly paying attention because you put the phone on speaker and you're playing games on your phone while your friend's telling you stuff, this is like repeating back the last thing you heard. Hey, how was your day today? We're doing role play. How was your day? Oh, oh I, it was okay. Tell me about it. What was work like? I, um, well, work, somebody... Um, was mean to me and I pooped my pants. <laughs> you pooped your pants. That's horrible. Someone was mean to you. That's horrible. Why were they mean to you? You see what I mean? It's just repeating back what they said. I pooped my me. pants. Stop They're like, doing you that. stink. And that would have been accurate. But, okay. Sorry. Point is, grow up, ho. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so paying a lot of attention to details. And in the spirit of giving, when we're talking about generosity, you know, and it's Christmas time, and so it's paying attention to, like, what other people might need, perceiving their needs, right? So if you notice that um, someone's always freezing, giving them a pair of gloves. It's not an expensive gift, but it's a very thoughtful, generous gift. Things like that. Okay, Aries. Whoa, Aries. Aries, you guys you got got some work. On. You uh -oh. got some Yeah. Yeah, you got some work here. But, okay, so what it's saying is maybe you need to focus on what's right in front of you. Stop thinking about things in big, large, general terms. What's important to you that's right in front of you. Um, and part of that is maybe like cutting out some drama, exiting <laughs> some negative 
um, circumstances, moving towards more peace and calm, but not feeling like you have the strength to do it. So you're going to want to manifest strength, right? Um, but a lot of you aren't even manifesting anything on purpose anyway. Maybe you don't believe in the law of attraction. Maybe you're not even watching this video. This is a total waste of time. Because the saying is resistance to change, not wanting to change things. But that's what you have to do. Otherwise, you're not going to feel very secure and good and happy about yourself anyway. So the first thing I would manifest is being okay with change, welcoming it into your life. And so in regards to that, so change is definitely something that is coming up that is needed. So I pulled two cards, which is very interesting. So I pulled the page of wands and the page of swords. So what I'm getting is in regards to this change, there's either a waiting or a message or communication that you're waiting on from someone, or you need to communicate with someone because these are both, these are both messengers of communication and having something to do with what's on your mind as well as something that you feel. Okay. So do you see the correlation? I totally see something it. Something about like this change that needs to happen, but communication needs to happen too because these messages are not, they're not happening yet. So. And maybe by not opening up, that's why you're afraid to make changes. True dad. True dad. Rude. <laughs> you want to start with Sagittarius while I get a computer check? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sagittarius. Fire sign. Mom, this is you. Okay. Sagittarius. Focus. Okay, so you guys might, um, you might, there might be some focus on, um, you know, something from the past that maybe made you sad or upset, and you're focusing maybe too much on it. So what we want to do is we want to focus on what's still standing, what's still there, the support that we have in our life, okay? Um, it's okay, you know, to mourn and things like that, but if we spend too much time there, then it kind of halts our movement or our growth. Um, and just remember, you still got some love back there. Oh, okay. Readjust. Um, Can we? Yeah. There we go. Okay. So, Sagittarius. What do we have? What should you be working on manifesting? Strength and tact. Tact in the way that you communicate. Um, you have to think things through before you say them, which you often do, but you have to communicate in a very smart way and also be very strong. Um, don't let others see you as weak and part of that is the way that you communicate. So ask for strength, too, with whatever challenges you have going on. And if you're not really, um, you know, as far as asking for that strength and then thinking that it's just going to show up, there might be a waiting period as far as um, kind of like as you manifest, things come into fruition with that. So just um, have patience. Things are on their way. Okay. Cancers. Oh, shoot. Stop worrying. Manifest calm, peace, okayness with everything. Mm -hmm. And what I get with this card is be honest with yourself. Um, that's something that you need to do right now. Um, be honest with yourself. I have a feeling that this card that you're going to pull is going to relay that. And then I, I'll piggyback. Okay, sure. But going along with that, like being honest with yourself, like honest with yourself about are your worries and fears even rational? 90% of the things that we think about, we worry about, or we fear don't even happen. Um, and it's like some of you might be experiencing writer's block or you don't have creative ideas, like you don't know what's next, but that's okay. Like be honest with yourself that that's totally fine. We don't have to know everything all the time. And worrying is only doing the opposite thing. Um, the opposite point of what we want, right? When we worry, the things that we worry about, we're drawing in with a lot of attraction. And so, and then if we can pull back and not worry so much and just kind of trust that whatever's out of your control, it's out of your control, then things will start moving, okay? Then new ideas will come in. And um, I feel like a lot of this is pertaining to your job or your income. Cancers have been ha having like a lot of energies recently where it's we're working really hard and it's like no money's coming in and I'm worried about it, like not enough is coming in. They're like, stop it. That's creating the blockage. So manifest money and just like going with the flow and, and trusting. 
I like that. Cancer. Oh, Scorpio. I love you guys. Well, I love all you signs, but Scorpio, yeah. Um, okay, Scorpio, what should you be focusing on? Going within. Um, and it's interesting because Scorpios, you guys are you guys are feelers. You're transformative. I know that um, last month was, you know, there was a lot happening. Um, what I'm getting with this is this doesn't necessarily mean like being the hermit, you know, staying home and stay. It's basically you can be around a ton of people, but at the same time be introspective and trusting your gut at the same time as well. So um, this is mainly just going within. If you're kind of like trying to maneuver through the holidays, um, changes that are coming up, changes, things that have come into um, your have come into your present time, just trust from within. Okay, that's your guiding light right there. I got two that jumped out here saying like, okay, you know, it's the holidays. I'm a little bit worried that maybe I don't have enough money to buy all the gifts that I want to buy or to even pay my rent or buy the Christmas ham. But um, what it's saying is what you want to be manifesting is like a good relationship with money where you say, oh, every time you hand somebody money, you're like, more where that came from and there shall be. Or um, I like money. I love money. Money loves me. I feel good when I pay my bills. I feel good when I buy gifts, things like that. And more money should just appear or things will be cheaper for you. you maybe you'll get refund checks in the mail. So even with your thought process of, of money in general, just like she said, you know, you can bring all of that in. Don't hold on too tight to it. There's plenty. So there's no need to really it, coming from a place of like survival, like, well, this is all I have. I've worked hard for, it, or I only have so much and give what you have. And I'm a Scorpio moon. And you'll, you'll even say I seem more Scorpio sometimes than Leo. Bipolar. That's what he's thinking. <laughs> but, um, you know, because Scorpios feel on highs and lows. But uh, point is, where did I, what did I want to go with that? Oh, I was telling you a couple weeks ago that I was like, oh, I don't want to pay my rent because then all the money comes out of my bank account. But I realized once I did it, it was like I was blessed. You know, I spent my money, I paid my rent, and then all of a sudden, I had money coming in. And you were like, oh, it's because you created the space for money. Yeah, because money money is energy. So um, I, it's nothing against, you know, anybody who likes saving or is really good at it. But money is energy, and energy needs to move um, that when you pay a bill, you allow – so you're, you're giving, and then you're allowing – something to come back in it's like replenishing yourself constantly and that's how money can flow is there's a constant flow there you just gave me a great idea instead of paying all my bills at once i'm gonna pay like one every day so that every day i can get more money okay yeah we're gonna try it out and experiment um pisces what should you be wanting for christmas what should you be manifesting uh, yeah obviously a lot of stuff they're like maybe you don't need to manifest so hard that's interesting. You might have been putting a lot of emotional work in. You might have been like sending a lot of messages out. So they're like, okay, now just wait, sit back and receive. But it's coming because it's right here. So we have the page of pentacles. Um, so this could be in the form of like, if you've been trying to focus, I'm getting like, if you've been working on maybe, um, why am I, I don't know why I'm getting promotions, something to do with work, um, wanting to travel more, things like that, really that like lift your spirit. Um, at the same time, it's like whatever this juggling that's going on is, it's almost like um, maybe trying to manifest too many things all at once, um, but something is coming in. And I'm glad you said that because I was getting money, uh, work, banking, stuff like that, like finance stuff. So, hey. Money. Hey. I think so far, Pisces has their ish most together. Good for you, Pisces. Well, they had it rough. You guys have been, you've had it rough the last couple Everybody's months. had it rough this yeah. year. Oh, yeah. I, sorry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they, every, all you guys. Okay. Well, maybe not everybody. So, um, let's see what Aquarius should possibly focus on at this time. Um, so, with the chariot, whatever it is, maybe, it's funny because certain people that I know that are Aquariuses or have it in their chart, I can totally see where this resonates. There's movement that needs to take place. Um, if there's some sort of blockage or imbalance, it's getting balanced and then moving forward. It's something you want and you need to do it. Um, and you're going to do it, but there, I'm just getting that there needs to be some sort of balance first. And um, don't fear it. 
because this is like falling in love. So falling in love with the new circumstance, falling in love with a new person. This is um, just really overflow of emotion that's happy and joyous and wonderful and peaceful. So moving into a good place. I guess I lied. Aquarius has a better... Pisces yeah. is doing everything right, but Aquarius is looking good. Yeah, a lot about movement because I pulled the chariot card again. So that's awesome. Okay. Libras. Can I go first or should I go first? Um, I'll go. Okay. Libra. You, you said Libra like you're calling a cat. Here, Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra. So um, I think what would be good to focus on right now is I get that you guys are feeling a lot right now and um, being okay with that, of course, but maybe finding some balance in that. Um, a lot of the times temperance can mean like um, patience or I'm not picking up on that. I'm picking up on like the water of this card, the feeling of it. Um, maybe feeling a little bit overwhelmed and kind of um, containing it, um, but finding a balance within that. So you don't explode or have a moment where you're just sobbing. Um, because well, and Libras are so effed up when they're out of balance. You are the card of balance. You are the sign of balance. Yeah. Uh, what I got here was the Ten of Cups in reverse. But the way that I'm reading it is you need to change your mind or um, expectation of how things are supposed to look. So maybe you want, you know, 2.5 children and a spouse and a white picket fence in the suburbs. Um, maybe that's not what's right for your life. Maybe that's not actually what makes you happy. Maybe you just need to be open and accepting to new possibilities. And I am getting this in regards to love. Then this one falls out. My This card to me is the marriage card. Um, it's not to everybody. But what it's saying is that, um, you know, you can have stable, solid relationships, but maybe you don't need to be married right now. Maybe that's what you want, but maybe you need to um, reframe the way that you think about marriage. Maybe you think that marriage is between a guy and a girl. Maybe you should marry a female if you're a female. Maybe if you're a dude, you should marry a dude. Yeah. Or um, maybe you should. Maybe you think it's not okay to um, marry somebody of a different race. But they're saying reframe that. Maybe that is okay. Maybe that's what's right for you. And what I got um, following that is the seven of wands. So basically, if you picture yourself as this, it's kind of like. Picturing these wands is like these new ideas that are trying to surface so you can attain these. Don't fight it. It's 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 almost like a natural occurrence that's trying to happen, but you're like, no, it's supposed to be this way. No, 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 I'm going to fight fight tooth and nail. But go with it. And as you pulled that one, this one flipped out again. So that card, for me, is about like having to defend yourself against the ideas of other people. So maybe your dad's like, oh, I don't want you to marry a black guy. Um. So what, dad? We're in love. And he's great to me. And he's good to me. And, you know, this is what's right. So it's like, don't worry about what other people think. Totally defend yourself. Defend your choices. Um, so anyway, what should you be wanting to manifest is um, the right thing for you. You know, the courage to do what you need to do. And what does that leave us with? Gemini is last, huh? Saving the best for last. Yeah, Gemini. So I got um, possibly focusing on... And this doesn't have to be something that happens right away or really like, tr I don't get that it's like something that you need to like full on, okay, I'm going to manifest this, but focusing on a direction, movement in a direction of something that you are passionate about and something that you're sure about, something within yourself that maybe you're, um, that creatively is going to flow better for you, maybe changing jobs. Um, what I got here is, but you don't need to talk about it. And it's hard for Geminis to not talk about things. You guys just talk all day. And even when nobody's around, you talk to yourself. But kind of keep your mouth shut, okay? Um, it's like, just be confident in that decision anyway. Do it anyway. The king of wands, the queen of wands, this is exciting. This is wonderful. This is something new for you. But right now, it's not something that you need to share with everybody else yet. Okay. And, and hence, the, the Knight of Pentacles is a slow, um, slow-moving energy. So this kind of goes hand in hand. So there might not feel like there's going to be any movement, much going on. And you guys feel that movement, especially through communication. But like she said, it doesn't need to happen right now. So hope that was helpful. I hope that gives you an idea of what you should be focused on, what um, kind of thoughts you should be putting out into the universe for them to bring you gifts back for this holiday season. And um, what else do we want to say? <laughs> I think that's it. Nothing. I hope that this was... Um, 
beneficial for everyone. It was, Dad. Uh... And so we're not saying that this is what you should. This is, um, you know, angel guidance, spirit guidance. Um, you know, we're reading the cards and going with our, our feelings. But this is mainly, you know, if you are looking in a different direction, but things aren't manifesting the way that you want them, or you are wanting things in your life, but they're not happening, it's because your focus, what you are focusing on, is maybe not in your best interest. And you might not even know that. So we're just here to guide you, like, well, try this. Yeah. And um, so it's about redirecting, you know. But it, as you're saying all that, this guy jumped out. And this is the card of Law of Attraction. It's about making wishes for the things that are going to make you feel good. For the things that um, you wish for, that you really, truly want. Sometimes we don't actually know what we want. And so um, hopefully these will guide you down the path to um, take the steps to get what you truly want, whether you even know what you want or not. I'm a woman, so I never know what I want. <laughs> and this card popped out as well. So basically new beginnings. So, you know, as we put our focus on that, new beginnings that are going to be coming in, especially with our desires, what we have been wanting, what feels right to us. It's all right here. But remember, it doesn't happen overnight. So on that note, bye. Happy holidays. Bye, guys.